Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, I wanted to show this to you because I'm going to be using this in my pumpkin at Halloween this year. Uh, I made this something similar last year, but this one has uh, the option of using an external amplifier. What I've done is this is one of my custom audio boards, and I've uh, hooked it up to a PIR sensor, motion detector. And uh, I've taken the audio output and I've spliced it to a... Uh, to a serial connector, to an audio connector, which is now being fed into my uh, my computer speakers. Now my computer speakers aren't uh, top of the line; they aren't they, they can't uh, output extremely loud uh, audio. But what I will be doing is feeding this into my Bose player at full volume. Now I won't necessarily be using these sound clips, but uh, this is what I used last year because I wanted it to be kid friendly. This year I'm going to put some screaming on it. So what what happens is Plug it in, I'm going to move away, and uh, every time, oh Jesus, scared the hell out of me, I moved. Uh, what it does is it plays three different sound bites of the Minions from uh, Despicable Me. And so if I move again, hopefully you can hear that. I'm going to actually turn the volume up a bit while trying to hide. And if I move again... So, right now, the audio clips are actually clipping because I've got the volume set too high because my computer speakers can't handle extremely high uh, volume. But when I put this in my Bose player, uh, it won't be clipping because my Bose player can play music uh, extremely loudly. And this is just simple, uh, simple audio. So I'll move again. <laughs> just a little laugh. There's three sound bites on this one. Uh, I still haven't decided what I'm going to use for Halloween. I should have made this into a, uh, a kit for people because I think a lot of people would really like to use something like this to scare the crap out of kids coming to the door at Halloween. Move again. Uh, I, again, I'm hiding right now. And uh, I'll play the last sound biting in the video, but uh, maybe if you have some ideas for me to... Uh, some sound bites that you might find interesting, let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll consider programming them, and I'll make another video at Halloween when I actually use this. Maybe I'll even get some good, uh, some good scares out of kids and get that on film. Uh, anyway, I'm going to move one more time. <laughs> and I'll remove power. So the program is extremely easy. It's literally just wait, delay, wait for a uh, sensor to detect something. If it detects movement, then send the audio signal to the output, Long delay. Make sure that the output of the PIR sensor is still is low before before essentially resetting the program. So it's very very simple. The power's off right now. It's just a generic PIR sensor. You can find them all over the place. Um, the audio board. It's one of my custom audio boards. I use it for my Mega Man arm circuit. And if you're interested in Mega Man and you want to see our uh, arm gun blaster, it can be found on the uh, front page of engineeringshock.com just to, if, you, if you don't want to look through all of my wares just do a search for Mega Man and you'll find the Mega Man arm gun circuit which you mount into your own DIY arm anyhow I just wanted to share it hopefully you found it yeah, interesting if you do have any ideas for good sound bites ones that I could use to scare the, scare the crap out of kids and parents for that matter uh, as, as mean spirited as it is uh, I still think it'll be pretty funny so uh, if you have any ideas, please feel free to post below and I'll take them into consideration. Thanks for watching, guys.